G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Um, today I'm going to show you the new features in the new Octane Render 1.22, um, which will also be in the 1.5, along with many other new features that will be along with that version. So first of all, I'll just start that I recently set up my own PayPal account, uh, to which you can donate money if deemed worthy. Um, if I deemed worthy of such a donation. Uh, the link is on my YouTube channel, and it'll be in the link here, um, just to put that out there. So, let's get back to it. So, this is the new Octane version, uh, the first release, or the first um, new version release in quite a while. So, let's start. Um, the biggest feature that this one has is the Albemic support. So, let's get... Uh, so in, to import that, um, well, j let's just um, let's just see the actual feature. So here we have a time slider and the time and the shutter speed and the frames per second. Very cool, very cool indeed. So as you can see, um, with the time slider you can now have animated geometry and with animated pretty much everything. Um, let's just get that here. Um, it even has its own little motion blur, so let's just go here. Put the motion blur up. Not too much. Keep it realistic, keep it realistic, but... Yay, motion blur. So we have our BMX support. So if I'm saying that wrong. We also have... Um, let's just load up a new scene here. We also have grouped nodes, which is extremely useful. Um, let's load up. What should we load up? This one. Alright, that will be good. So, let's just say we have the fuse. The fuse, and let's just quickly make this red. Alright, so let's just say that, well actually, no point in doing this, is going to do doing this anyway, so let's just go to materials, diffuse. Let's go to diffuse. Alright, so let's just say that we want to keep this neat, so we highlight the nodes, right click, group items, and there you go. It's um, in one node. You can open up this, and here you are, diffuse and diffuse. Do not know why they're overlapping, hopefully that will be fixed. And you, for this one, you can even do it like a, you can add like an emission. Textured. And for this one, you can add um, so for this emissions, you can group these ones too. So that's groups. So it's pretty much a, a group within a group within a group, like pre-compositioning, like in After Effects, or pre-comping within Nuke. So that is um, grouped nodes. Um, very useful, um, I might add. Next thing is scripting. Um, uh, you have your own, you can now have your own Eula Lua scripting um, nodes. Um, there is a few examples. Um, the basic we can do is the following. Um, Prince Hello world. Run. Hello world. And you can even um, post... Uh, well, obviously that's just printing. You know, hello world. You can even make your own colored nodes and everything. I'll just make an example that a user made.
Here we go. Here you go. A mix, glossy, all made purely from scripting. Um, very, very, extremely um, effective. And you can make for my ones that don't require nodes. You can make like apparently you can make like your own master loader um, and everything. So extremely cool um, with the Euler scripting. Uh, what else? Uh, we now have um, object per visibility, so a very nice feature you can have. Let me just load up a scene here. Uh, hang on. Okay, so what we have here is a very simple scene of a plane with a um, red ball, as you can see here. Um, two geometries merged into one group node. So, um, what we can do now is pretty much um, have each object have its own visibility, but still can we can get the uh, shadow and the camera data we can get the camera data visibility but still have the shadow to go. Now, uh, this is how we do it. So, let's just put this here, put this here, put that there. Okay. So, here we have the visibility. Pretty much like how it is, just general visibility. But we can also turn off the camera info, still keeping the shadow there. Or we can even turn off only the shadow data. Very useful and we can make it... Hopefully we can make it out with um, uh, reflectivity and everything. But very useful regardless. Pretty cool. Next is the 2D... Um, uh, the, the 3D textures. Um, I still need to try and work out the really using which essentials. Uh, let's just do, 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 do. whoops, not seen. I want to load up a. I want to load up the mesh. Let's open up this up again. Alright, so here we have the cube again. So what can this do? The new texturing. We can now, for the first time, project our geometry here within the um, within Octane. How is this possible? Glad you asked. Okay, so let's bring out... The materials diffuse. No, oh, whoops, wrong one. And for this one, we can make it well, we're going to load up a mesh, uh, an RBG image. Don't worry, I'll be going through this in a lot more detail. Let's bring up a let's bring up this random texture okay so now here in the image area we have these new um, options so we obviously have the great we have new power the gamma as usual and everything invert if you want to ruin your image texture we also have the transform value and the mesh UV now so we can now like have a box we can now have cylinder mesh UV which is your pre-built mesh UVs perspective we now have spherical 
and X, Y, and Z. And you can also, for each one you have, you can also have your own little um, change. You also have your own little, you can change your values, moving the image the way you want it. You can make very wacky stuff with this. A lot more control. Um, I just need to know how to properly use it first before I teach anything. Um, but yeah, we also have the uh, wrap around or just mirrored black color, white color. Go into depth more later um, soon. But so we have projection, image projection, and all of these have your own their own nodes and everything. Here it is, projection box under the mesh UV, so on and so forth. Um, apart from that, uh, there's a lot of changes with like layouts, so node graph is here, note, render target tool here. They changed uh, a few of the um, texturing settings, like, well not the settings, the texturing naming and conventions are a lot more simpler and easier to do, I find. And apart from that, that's um, what's in the new Octane, and hopefully um, we can see a lot more features and everything in the 1.5 release, but until then... I'll be making a lot more. I'm making more videos on the new features and everything, and of course I will continue doing the Blender tutorial series. Um, I just uh, um, my last week of TAFE interrupted the tutorials, and I had to stop for a bit. And then Assassin's Creed came out, and I've just been lazy. But I'll get to it. Don't worry. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later next time.